Hello, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm showing you how to make the Enzoni. So this was made by Vincenzo Erico from New York's Milk and Honey. Uh, he was also trained in London under Dick Bradsell, the very well-known famous bartender um, who created the Espresso Martini as well as many other cocktails, many other modern classics. Uh, I was requested to make this cocktail by Michael, who is the uh, founder of From the Bar Cocktails. He's creating a line of canned cocktails. He's from Indiana. Uh, I'll leave a link to his personal account here on Instagram and his uh, business account over here so you can check it out and have a look what he's doing. Um, during ISO, he did 100 cocktails, 100 days in a row, doing a cocktail each day. And this was cocktail number eight and one of his favorite cocktails. So uh, he requested that I make it. And I did see that it was posted on Leandro's channel on the Educated Barfly uh, quite some time ago. And it's been on my list and I've been meaning to make it for some time. So let's get cracking. Please note that the original recipe does actually call for uh, green grapes, but after Michael requested that I make it, I went home that night and there were some red grapes on the kitchen bench that my wife had bought. So it was kind of like a sign that I had to make the Enzoni cocktail. Um, five grapes, throw it straight into the cocktail shaker and give it a bottle. So it's kind of like a Negroni meets a gin sour. I have done a Negroni sour on the channel once before, uh, including egg white. So this is gonna be Negroni sour-esque, quite similar. Uh, measure out 30 mil. Thank you, Kyle, for the bottle of gin, the beef eater. So 30 mil, one ounce. If you prefer gin, followed by Campari. Same, same again, 30 mil, one ounce. And some fresh lemon juice. So 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. And 15 mil of simple syrup, half an ounce. A little bit of uh, sugar along with the grapes to balance out the bitterness of the Campari and the acidity from the lemon juice. Add some ice to the shaker, give it a shake. Getting the wave from behind the camera to smile more. You look grumpy. Looks good. I'm gonna strain that over a large clear cube. Fine strain those, those grapes out of there. and garnish with a grape. There you have it in Zoni. Cheers. Quite like the color of that. Um, from memory, I think Leandro's was like a little bit darker and more Campari-like. I might just be imagining that, but cheers. Ooh, you, you really do get those grapes coming through. Um, that's a welcome addition. I've never used grapes in a cocktail before. I like that. Uh, the bitterness is subdued because you've got the, um, the sweetness from the sugar, the, the, the citrus, the acidity. I actually think this would be the ideal cocktail to introduce someone to Campari for the first time. Because you get that underlying 
bitterness and that dryness, but you get the pop from the from the grapes and the citrus. Uh, you get that kick from the gin um, and some dryness as well, and the, the botanicals and the juniper from the the beef eater. It's quite. This is really good, and I can understand why Michael chose this as one of his favorite cocktails from from 100 cocktails. It's it's delicious, and it's worth a try. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.